I came to Sidwell with a real love of writing. I had Robert Thomason, Mr. Thomason in upper school. I loved him as an English teacher because he pushed me. He created something called WordWise or WordlyWise, and that's how he graded our paper. So every possible thing you could get wrong, he had in this booklet. I loved that. I mean, I, it made me a better writer, but I loved it so much that after college, I contacted Mr. Thomason and asked him if he would, if I could get a copy. So he came to my office and we met, we sat and talked and he gave me a copy. After I graduated from Sidwell, I went to Amherst College. My sophomore year, our Black Student Union brought Dick Gregory to campus. We asked him to come to talk about kind of the social, economic, political state of Black America. We knew him as a civil rights icon, as a comedic uh, genius, a legend, but mainly as an activist. Instead of talking about the political and economic and social state of black America, he talked about the plate of black America and how unhealthfully most folks eat and why we should be vegetarian. He's talking about it not only in the context of health, but in the context of nonviolence, the civil rights movement, social justice, all of that. That talk rocked my entire world. It was just a perfect time for me to kind of hear it in that context because all of those things were important to me. This was something that was killing and disabling more folks than other things like police brutality. I found this to be a cause that I wanted to work for. When I went home for the summer a few months later, I went to the Martin Luther King Library, the Library of Congress, to actually do research, to read what was available. And of course, this is before we had the internet, so you had to physically go. And by the end of that summer in 1986, I had become a vegetarian, and it, and it would take me about a year, year and a half to become fully vegan. We uh, were going around doing food demos, we were going to churches, we were going to health fairs, and really it was because people were asking us about how we ate and we wanted to share the information. Ageless Vegan is uh, my latest book, came out in June of 2018, and I wrote that with my mother because we are celebrating our 30 years of being vegan. I wanted to write the book with my mother because I thought that this mother-daughter story was unique. I wanted my mother to be out there. I wanted the world to see my mom as a woman, a black woman who's been vegan since her 50s, and she's now in her 80s, and she is doing great. She's in excellent health. She has no chronic diseases. I am hopefully headed in that same direction. And my mom was reluctant at first because she's like, oh, nobody wants to hear my story. And I'm like, mom, everyone needs to hear your story. This is not um, something that I take lightly. I consider this serious activist work. The fact that I'm able to help people and be a part of their uh, transition to veganism to a healthy life, you know, I'm grateful for that. It's, I, there's nothing better.